You hear me? Come. You need to be free. Yes, you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, this demon that makes you to look around woman. Yes, I can't be satisfied. And I, I got married four times. I, I don't get satisfied with one woman. But brother, I don't know you. I'm, t I'm telling you this. Yes. So that you'll be free. Yes. Uh, now you expose yourself. <laughs> I'm worried about this. Huh? I'm worried about this. I even stopped the church. I'm, I'm on fasting for three months. I want to break this thing. It's troubling me. I can hear you. I even closed the church that uh -huh. I can be in prayer and fasting for three months because uh, this thing is troubling me. You I stopped the I church? Yes. Uh, but this is a demon. Yes, it's a demon. Yeah, a demon. Yes. According to me, you were supposed to be drinking. <laughs> Were you not drinking? Uh, I, I left when I got born again. Huh? I left when I got born again. You left? You were drinking before? Yes. When did you leave drinking? 2010, when 2010. I got born again. Yes. And you were saved? I was saved. And you start to have ladies? As, yes. Huh? Yes. And ladies can't satisfy you? Uh, yes. I will meet somebody, we get married, and then I will get bored. You get bored? Uh, yes. Follow me. Today, if you come here, all the time here, God will give you a right wife. Amen. Yes, because yes. you're a good person. Amen. But this spirit that is troubling you. Uh, it's a spirit. It's the, come. The spirit here. Let's pray for you. You'll be free today. In Jesus' name. How can a young man like this have four wives? Four. Brother. I want to congratulate you. God will give you a right wife. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. My name is Moses Elijah. I'm from Northwest in Bread, in a village called Mabuloka. And uh, the challenges that brought me to Charis Missionary Church is that uh, I was facing uh, troubles in ministry, stagnation in ministry rising and falling and again i was experiencing the polygamous spirit in marrying and remarrying in my life so i said let me close the church for some time and be in prayer and fasting and i was praying to god that god almighty locate me this day and i thank god so much that when i came here exactly the apostle of god located me and then he told me what i'm what i was going through and the deliverance i received deliverance this day and I thank God so much because I, I, after this day, I believe that my life has changed by this prophetic word that I've received. So if you are there at home as a minister of the gospel, uh, swallow your pride and come to the man of God and get the deliverance and your life will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen.